Hello beautiful people, welcome back and happy holidays. Uh, today's workout is as always very very short, very quick. We're going to be targeting a little bit of our hip flexors, our glutes, um, a lot of hip mobility, a little bit of stability towards the end. Everything that I love and everything that we need as dancers. So let's hop straight into it. I hope you enjoy it and all you guys are going to be needing is uh, one loop band. Mine is medium resistance. I'm just going to put a band um, around our ankles and we're going to start with hip flexion work. Um, we're going to place our hands at the back of the skull. We're going to extend our legs out and slightly abduct them. So you have about a step between your feet. Um, take an exhale before you lift up into the French and make sure you're still lengthening your spine as you lift versus trying to hold it like that, okay? So I'm still lengthening. Let's start with the right leg. I'm going to exhale, bring it up. I'm going to lower it down, rotate the leg externally and bring it up again. Lower down, neutral. So my kneecap is facing up. Lift, lower, rotate externally. Lift, lower. If you feel like your low back can't handle this and the core is not activating properly yet, bend your left leg and try working from here. And that should assist you in not um, arching through the low back when the leg goes down. Let's go for three lift, lower, external, lift, lower, neutral. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, breathe out. Same leg will now abduct and abduct. So we're going to bring it over to the side and then cross the body and try to feel our right inner thigh group kicking in and contracting. Let's go for it. Only exhale, leg to the side. Cross the body, reach your right big toe towards the left corner. Out to the side, left. Three, four. Try to keep your pelvis more or less neutral. Try not to rotate side to side too much. Four left, five. Six, seven, eight. Good. We're going to quickly flip. Same leg will be working, so it's still my right leg going up. We're going to curl our left toes and try to work on that full knee extension by pulling our left kneecap up and trying to keep that knee off the floor. Diamond shape arms, push the floor away, don't collapse and pull your belly button in and up. I'm slightly tapping through the tailbone, avoiding um, dumping into my low back. Right foot is pointed, let's go lift and low. We start with just simple eight um, extensions. Go three, lower, four, lower, feel your right glute max. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Keep the leg up, don't give up. Let's go abduct. And then cross adduct. And two. And three. And again, it's never really above the range, but it is about connecting um, to movement, really observing movement, really sending signals into the right muscle group. Let's keep going. Three. Two. Back of the neck long. One. Good. Onto your side, still working the same, same side, same leg, left forearm underneath your shoulder, push the floor away, don't collapse into that shoulder, press, 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 bring your left leg slightly off the floor, you'll, you'll again feel your inner thigh area, inner thigh uh, muscle group kicking in and supporting the movement, because you are, if you think about it, you're adopting, so you're trying to move that left leg up towards the sky, and let's go. Left leg up neutral, both kneecaps facing to the front. Now rotate externally, bring it up, lower. Neutral, lift, lower, external, lift, lower. Let's keep going. Three, external, up, four, external, up. Keep going. Five, should probably use a lot of band six. Keep going. Seven, and eight. Good. We're going to kill off that right side by coming up. Hopefully, we're going to fit into the screen. I'm going to be standing on my right leg. The left leg is going to extend in front of you. Height here doesn't matter. We're mostly working on stability in that right leg. So, we're going to bring that 
left foot just a bit off the floor bring it to the side and then bend your right knee tilt your pelvis forward stabilize that right knee and bring the left hip into extension that's one flex your left foot bring the leg forward again side exhale back whoops let's go three front side back and let's go four I forgot to point my foot. Let's go five. Let's go six. Let's go seven. Let's go eight. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I really felt my right glute waking up. I had leg day. Um, I did a little bit of weights yesterday so my boots are still very sore um but that's okay this was a very short workout just something to do before i go back to eating let's uh place the band around our ankles again and i will probably face this way are you guys ready let's go for it right leg stays on the floor take an inhale on the exhale keep visualizing feeling length in the spine as you lift off keep your chin off your chest Let's go. Lift, lower, rotate, lift, lower, neutral. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Breathe in and out. Let's go. Abduct. Adduct, left and right, and left and right, and three. Fight to keep that right hip solid. I can feel my right side trying to escape over to the left, so I've got to be very aware of it. Four, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Good. Let's flip. Oh, I didn't dance. I was in the studio for about three, four days. Just again, again, because of the holidays, and I can already feel my body's gonna have a hard time going back into it, going into a crazy training schedule. Let's go, guys. Left leg is still the one working. Remember to curl your right toes, pull the right knee cap up, pull the belly button in, stay out of a deep Spinal extension, so stay low. And let's go extend. Lower. Two. Lower. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good. Breathe in. Let's go into the next one. Abduct. Adduct. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. What was next? Oh, what was our um, water effect plank abduction work? So we're starting with your kneecaps facing out to the front. Check that your whoo amount of breath. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Push the floor away. Belly button in. No collapsing. And also check that you're not panicking. Common thing is people start pushing the legs forward, pushing the bum back. If you look towards your feet, it should be a straight line. And your glutes are on. You're lightly tucking the tailbone. Yes? Let's go on the exhale. Lift. Lower. Rotate. Two. Rotate. Three. Rotate. Four. Rotate. Five. Six, good. Seven, yes. Eight, good. Let's go straight up. Don't give up. We are standing on our left leg, yes? So, starting on the straight leg, right foot just a bit off the floor, uh, pointed foot, and let's go on the axial. Lean forward, so think your hip bones are coming lower and closer to the ground. Flex your right foot, extend the leg forward. Let's go for two. 
Keep resistance on the band, so don't work your leg here. Let's go for three. So this simple looking move should not feel simple at all. Let's keep going. I lost my count, guys. Where are we at? Oh no. I think we have four more. And three. And two. And one. Let's do one extra one just in case I miss counting. And done. Good. Come down on me for a moment. Let's cross our right ankle over our left quad. Let's actively bring that left hip into flexion. Let's push the right knee out. Make sure your right knee is feeling comfortable. If it's not feeling comfortable, play around with this, with the position of your right ankle. See if you can slide it lower, further out. Usually lower will feel a little bit better. Or just bring yourself out of the depth of the school. So go out this way a little bit. Well, let's take little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wrap your hands around that left leg. Hold it passively for a second. Allow your pelvis to lift off the floor for a moment. And let's switch. Left ankle over right quad. Start with your pulses. You can go at your own pace. You don't have to watch me. Let's go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the passive hold, static hold. Three, two, one. Thank you guys so much. Back into my traditional split. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel good. It was very light, it was very quick, but a great activation um, and a great capability warm up uh, pre dancing. Um, you guys can repeat the whole circuit one more time as always, or you can combine it with one of the other workouts I have on my page. Enjoy. Keep training consistently. Allow yourself to take time off. Spend it with friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye.